Hi there, this is Vivi Cameron here and today I'm passing by to share five ways to use the Butterfly Card Creator to create five by seven inches card bases. These are very easy and quick and although Butterfly Card bases are nothing new, I just want to show you exactly how the card bases will look when you put in action the Butterfly Card Creator. So let's start with the very basics. The Butterfly Card Creator is a 14 pieces die set. It includes oversized butterflies that measures up to five by seven inches. So just the frame of the butterfly will create the card base. You also will get decorative dice, has flowers, center for your flowers and leaves. It also includes a smaller butterfly that you can use alone for smaller projects, a little tag or something else. So today I'm going to use the largest die in the set. I have here a seven inches by five inches card base and I'm going to place the die over, making sure that the bottom of the butterfly or the bottom of the die is aligned with the bottom of the card base and the top butterfly wings are aligned with the edges of the card base. But at the top, you will see that the blades are not touching the paper. So we are going to do a partial die cutting that is very, very simple. And we are going to run this card base folded with the die over through the die cutting machine. Something I love about the Spellbinders Platinum 6 is that even though my plates are very worn, I don't get those marks in the plates embossed in the paper when I'm doing this because it happens with other die cutting machines that they are very, very strong and they squeeze the paper and emboss those marks in the plates on the paper and that's, that's not nice. So anyways, that's how easy you can create a top folding five by seven inches card base. All you have to do here is to decorate with other dies in the set and you will be done in time record. Okay, the next idea, if you don't want to do any partial die cutting, is to die cut two of those five by seven inches butterflies. And you need to score a line at three quarters of an inch, just like that. Then you need to fold towards the back of the die cut piece, those little flaps at the top of the butterfly. Then you need to add liquid glue over those flaps, allow that to dry a little bit and place the other butterfly over, properly align it. And that's how you can make in less than one minute a five by seven inches top folding butterfly shaped card. So both of the butterflies I just showed you looks very neat and you can make any of this using a standard six inches die cutting machine. You don't need a large format die cutting machine to create these card bases. And don't worry, I'm going to give you some ideas on how to decorate this, but the sky's the limit. So the third sample I want to share with you is to create a top folding card base, but this time I want a rectangular background. So what I'm going to do is place the die again in the same way I did for the previous samples, and the top blades of the die are not on the paper. Then I'm going to use my large format die cutting machine here and I'm going to align the top cutting plate with the scoring line on the card base. And because the cutting blades are off the scoring line on the card base and the cutting plate is not making any pressure on those blades, we are going to make a partial die cutting on the top area of that butterfly there. So we are going to place the bottom of the butterfly facing the die cutting machine and we are going to run this through the die cutting machine like so. Once we have this done, we can remove the die and we need to trim any excess of paper. And after using scissors, I might need to use a craft knife to give a better finish and look and feel to the general car base. So that's it. I also use a corner punch to round the corners of the car base. And that's also another top folding car base option. Okay, now let me show you a side folding option. We need two five by seven inches butterflies and we are going to place one of them on the scoring board like so. So the 
wins need to be aligned with the edge of the scoring board and we are going to score at one quarter of an inch. Then we are going to fold those little flaps towards the back of the butterfly like so. We are going to add glue over those flaps and we are going to place this other die cut butterfly over, making sure that everything is aligned. And we need to add pressure on the areas we are sticking these together, just to make sure that there is a good bond between those two die cuts and the butterfly car base is done. And don't worry, you will be able to see a sample at the end of the video using this car base. Now let's make an easel card. For this, we are going to need a piece of cardstock that measures seven inches and a half by seven, and we are going to score a line at five inches. In other words, this is a five by seven inches card base, and one of the panels has been cut in half. Then we are going to place the die over the side that is complete, just like that. And we are going to do exactly the same that we did before, making sure that the blades of the die are over the bottom part of the piece and the top blades of that butterfly are off the piece. And sorry, my head is all over the place. Then we are going to remove the excess of cardstock. And this is going to give us again a cheaper card, but we have half panel in one of the sides. Okay, next we are going to place the right side of the paper up on the scoring board and that straight edge of the die cut need to be aligned with the scoring board. Then we are going to score a line at half inch, just like that. So you can see that scoring line there. And all we have to do is to fold the car base and fold this flap towards the top portion of the butterfly. So we are going to add adhesive on that flap and we are going to add the other die cut butterfly over just like so, making sure that everything is aligned. And as simple as that, we have created a butterfly shaped easel card. How easy was that? So that's it. The main idea I have with this collection is to enable you to make the easier projects that you could imagine and projects that you want to share with others and that you will enjoy making without having any trouble or any complication. The size of the die cuts is easy to handle and the die set will also allow you to make a very substantial card using very little pieces. So we just made five different card bases in eight minutes. All we need to do is to decorate them. So I'm going to show you how I put together little flowers and leaves using dies from the Butterfly Car Creator. And to die cut gold mirror cardstock, I'm going to trim the paper to the size of the die and then I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine. That's going to give me a very beautiful die cut. And also keep the rest of the paper in good shape because if you run the metallic paper over and over on your die cutting machine, it's going to get all marked and it's going to get damaged. So that's one of the things I wanted to share with you today. And to make the flowers, you can just layer the different parts without doing any shaping. But if you want, you can also use a stylus to give some shape to the flowers. And you can layer two or three flowers to make them more dimensional. So I'm showing you here a very basic shaping. And to assemble these flowers or any other kind of flowers like this one, I only add liquid glue on the center of the flower just like that and I don't find the need to add glue all over the place. I never do. So if you see me there I only add a little tiny dot of glue on the center of those pieces and then I glue all the elements over. The Butterfly Car Creator will make three different flower designs and five different leaves. You can cut four leaves in one go using one of the dies in the set. And once I have decorative elements for my card, I then die cut another butterfly that we layer perfectly on any of the card bases I made today. And to give you extra ideas, I'm also going to be using a little bird die cut 
that I made using Simon Says stamp dies listed in the video description. And this is to show you that you can incorporate any die cut you might have into your butterfly designs. So I just easy peasy put the flowers together. I'm not thinking that much and I make a very simple composition. You can fully cover the butterfly with decorative elements. You can make the arrangement to one side and then add the sentiment in the other. The sky's the limit. I forgot to mention that I die cut watercolor paper that I previously painted and splattered with watercolor paints. I do that a lot to create my own DIY cardstock. I also like to use Artisa iridescent paints or any kind of paint to color my cardstock or paper. And in that way, I give up organic look and feel to the die cuts. And here is an idea. I'm not going to finish this card, but just want to show you the idea. You can place a piece of cardstock in the same color of the larger butterfly in the front panel. In this case, is Glacier Color by Spellbinders. This is a gorgeous cardstock color. And you can just add your topper like so, add a sentiment and you will be done. If you don't like the row edges at the top, you can also add a white butterfly die cut to cover that up to have a nicer finish. I love this card design with the rectangular background, but as I have other samples that I'm going to be sharing in my blog like that, for the card here, I'm going to use the easel card base. So what I'm going to do is to adhere this onto that backing piece first. I'm going to add a nubo drop to the eye of this little bird here just to finish it up. I'm going to place this to a side and I'm going to stamp a sentiment using butterfly sentiments stamp set. This is a scrap piece of paper that looks pretty much has a stencil and yet you can use it as a stencil as well. But I'm going to use just this castor here to stamp a sentiment for my card. The stamp set I'm using to do this includes eight different sentiments and it's also from Bibi's Butterfly Collection released yesterday. And I'm just going to cut a little banner to complete this card front. Okay, all we have to do is to adhere this to the easel card base, just like that. And this is pretty much all we need to do. However, if we want to add some kind of mechanism that stop this from moving when it's in display, we can add a little butterfly there and this card will be done. I think this card is super, super cute. And of course you can make smaller easel cards using dies from so many butterflies die set. That is this one here and here is a sample for you. Now I'm going to use this side folding card base to put together a card that I'm planning to send to Julie Hassel. She suffered from a condition called fibromyalgia and she posted on Facebook that she would like to receive more birthday cards for her birthday. But I'm planning to do something else. I'm planning to send her an encouragement card. Although I might change my mind and I will send her a birthday card. <laughs> so this is for Julie. I hope she feels better today. And I hope that any of these cards can make her smile. So there you go. The good thing about butterflies is that they are good for any occasion. So I finished two cards today, one side fold, this super cute easel card, but you can make card toppers in the same way for any of the card bases I explained and I shared with you in the video today. So here are some samples and that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration, to like this video and share it if you can, share it with your friends, share it in your Facebook, share it everywhere. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.